say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Just like that one line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's how it be. I ain't been getting no sleep. I've been running the streets. I ain't been home in two weeks. I've been looking for peace in California. Say hi. Alright, so this story time was about the time I got my ass beat. That's how I became the person I am today. It started off when I was young. I was like five years old. So it was this party going on. But see, let me take it back pad. Like my auntie, which is my own friend, my mom and daddy friend back then, she was uh, like close to my parents. But then like um, things, things was out a little bit short because my daddy had moved away, but that's another story. So um, my mom and daddy tell them, oh, we going to a party, they can go get a dress. So I'm like, all right. But I'm telling them, all right, cause I ain't gonna go get a dress, I'm gonna go watch TV. Cartoon Network, Channel 52. So I'm in the room watching TV. So like five minutes later, they told me, then I tell you, I can go get ready. I was like, yeah, so I went to go go in my closet like I was getting clothes out. And that thing, you know, the shit hit the corner, can I went, I went back watching TV. The thing I would hide under the bed so she can't find me. So to get the clothes, I get the clothes out, but I ain't wanna go take the clothes watching, but it was probably Johnny Bravo, because I was popping back in the day. So that thing, you know, my mama come in, she come in with a belt. God, she was looking for me too, bro. That thing you know, she walked out the room, I get up, I would run to the shop. This her coming in. Now take your bath! Now take your bath! Uh. Alright, so boom, when that happened, I got mad at work. I was crying like a hoe, bro. God, like, you probably can't see that, but I had got a big ass mark on my left side, like, on my left leg, bro, shit was redder than a bitch. I'm talking about stinging. Like you could hit, it, you could feel the skin, like the white meat off that bitch. So I'm like, man, I'm gonna run away. Favorite thing to see, cause I used to pat my bass and run out the high, get down, get down like four houses, turn my ass around. After I go sit in the um the open space like a little forest, so I come back to the. And just sitting, I'm like, I ain't, ain't fucking with y'all no more, can I? So, back to, back to this, get out the shower. I'm feeling myself like this shit fucking hurt, bro. Tell him, tell him I'm gonna run away, bro. Then I get my clothes on. The dumbest shit. She come in my room. Comb your hair, comb your hair. I don't wanna comb out. Well, make me whoop your ass again. You know how that shit go. Then boom. Oh my house, shit, napping in the bed. But I had short hair, but like, like, it was like this long. This long, this, this how long my hair was. But it was napping in the bed, I was. Like, yeah, I thought I ain't gonna call my house. But she ain't, she popped me, she ain't whooping like, she just, let me see him, let me see him, that type of work. So, we get to the party, kind so, like, my mom had five kids. Yeah, five, cause, cause I'm the six kids, so I ain't the six, but like, I'm the middle child, so we in the car, we in the back. My dad had a truck, so two, three people in the front, cause the little baby, I, I got a little buddy, who she had at home. They was fucking with me, I added that out, so. I'm in the car, we, we on our way to day back in the day. Neighborhood dope, but I got what you need. Can we out the hood because of that? Like, a lot of people don't know that, but like, I ain't finna get into that. Cause I don't need people know my back pain. Like. So, boom, um, we get to the house party. House is big as fuck. When you get in the hood, shit look like one of Montana, kind you go, you walk in the house, you see shit like that in the hood, bro. Shit so clean, so I'm like, damn, this shit amazing. The dumbest thing I hate, like, why they tell you, bro? Why they tell you, go? You can't sit on the couch, then they got a plastic wrap on the couch. Like, that's the dumbest shit I heard. Eventually, nigga gonna sit on that hood. I'm in a party, cow. The, the lady, she, she ain't had kids yet, but she had nephews and nieces. So I used to, I wanna go play with them in the backyard. The dumbest shit happened. I get out the trampoline, go clean myself up. They tell that ass, you know what happened, what happened? I'm just like, I'm crying cause this shit hurt. I'm only five years old. I go clean myself up. 
put no, put even no, it's on the street. Like 10 minutes in the pot, I go get something to drink on Thursday, bitch. So, hey, now y'all probably think, Captain, bro. But I'm talking about this ass was so fat when I went to go get the drink, can To my grown lady, can She wanted a sundress. So, I go, I go get a drink. We get right. Got his eye wet, but his eye wet. Say my name, say my name. Uh, what are you allowing to happen? I need to get to the part when I got mad at me, so. But, but, but I had to do, no, I ain't had to do, but I was going 30 minutes, cause by, but between that time period, so I went, I went into the garage, cause they had a nice car, they had, they had a donk in there, cause like, it wasn't a donk, but like, it was a car with nice rims, nice paint job. And it was like a convertible, so like that. So I'm going in a mind and car, so I go sitting in it. So as soon as I get out of the car, some dude walk up to me. He like, ain't you such and such kid? I'm like, I don't know you, who is you? So he like, don't talk to me like that. He so said, I'm, I'm your daddy friend. So I'm like, okay. And that, you know, he said something slick out his mouth. Like, something slick, like, some slick shit that get on your nerve, like, this is what I said, bro. I'll make your wife suck my dick. <laughs> Boom. He said, ah, oh, I got something for you. This is what a bitch idea. I swear, if I ever catch a nigga in my life, bro, I'll have to beat cut ass, bro. Like, real dead, beat his ass. Like, he probably old dude, no. Nah. But, fuck, nigga. And daddy said, come here, Stanley, come here, come here. Heart racing like this. I don't know, I'm finna get mad, but, but then, it, this one I'm thinking, man, I'm finna explain the situation, I'm finna finesse my way out this ass, with me. Dad told him to come in, so I'm like, yeah, daddy, he like, put your pants down, put your pants down. I'm like, what I did? He told me, you know exactly what you did. So I'm like, oh, you talking about with that man? He told me, yeah, with that man. That man right there, so he pointing to him. Him and his wife standing up. This is them. Just looking at me. I'm trying to tell that I don't like Daddy he said something to me that was disrespectful. He said, I don't care if it was disrespectful, nothing because respect your elder. So I'm like, bro, I don't even get afraid. So he like, if you don't take your pills, I'm gonna take them out for you. So it's back when my daddy could speak. He had like three strokes, so he put my pants down, he put out his belt, whooped my ass in front of everybody, bro. So when I first got my ass open, I said, I'm gonna get all y'all niggas, man. I ain't say that out loud, cause I ain't think no. Fuck you said, all the way down the street. You know how I used to run away? I bought on their ass, I'm gone. I said, I ain't coming back. Nothing on here, the corner. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna go now. Okay, like, where this person's house at? If you go the other way, you can go to the park. If you go this way, you can go deep into the neighborhood. The way I went, I went deep in the neighborhood, but I ain't know where I was going. I, you know how they say if you go right, you I was in the right direction. But I went left, bitch. I thought that was the right direction. I ain't no left and right back in the day. So. I see the sun to the left, and I'm driving on the left. Left. I left, I went left. So I'm down the street. Here with my daddy in the big ass white truck. To my bushes. Jumping on the road. Pouring the ivy all over, nigga. That thing, you know. I don't know how the fuck he found me, but that nigga found me. No cap, bro. He found me. So, like, after he drove by, he like. He beat on, oh, he beat that bitch. So he like, Stanley, come here, I know you do. Man, that bitch is kind of like, I don't know, man, this bitch is kind of like, I don't know, man, this bitch is kind of like, I don't know, man, this bitch is kind of like, he grabbed my head. But bring your ass up, I want to talk to you. So he tell me, can he get me in the truck? I'm like, yes. He like, fix your attitude. I'm like, fix my attitude, I just got my ass beat. He like, oh, like, dude, this is what I said, literally. Daddy, you whooped me. What I'm supposed to do? You got me. Now shut up, cuz. Ain't know what to say after that. And so we'll talk for a bit. Can we talk? He be telling me can't be disrespecting your elders. I'm like, yeah, daddy. So he drove me back down to the party. He made me apologize. You know how disrespect I felt after I apologized to this man. He wanted me to apologize early, but I walked off on the ass. And like, I thought I was gonna get another whooping because I walked off, because that was very disrespectful. So I thought I walked off. And 
you know what happened, man. Now I get back to the house, get back to the house. It's all right, it's all right, little dude. And he apologized too. That's the point, cause he said that shit out of his mind. I can't not talk. Get knocked off just like that one lingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's how it be. I ain't been getting no sleep. I've been running the streets. I ain't been home in two weeks. I've been looking for peace in California. It ain't over, bit It not over. I got another story time. Dumb bitch, stupid. But like, for real, like and subscribe, man. No, man.